Hey guys, welcome back to Lexis Room Card Reading. Today I'm gonna have a pick a card on what does your guardian angels and spirit guides want to tell you at this moment, okay? Um, the first pile we have in front of me is the Modern Witch Tarot for pile number one. Pile number two, we have the um, Lioness Oracle Tarot, and I'm going to be using Oracle cards to see exactly what does your angels and guardians and spirit guides want to relate to you. Okay, so mm -hmm. hope to see you in your pile. Pile number one, if you chose the Modern Witch Tarot, this is your pile. I am going to start off with the Oracle cards, okay? I want us to relax, meditate, and take our time um, diving into this reading. I did meditate today, um, and I exercised, and I'm like super um, happy about that. But yes, let's see. For pile number one, guardian angels and spirit eyes. Please give me a concise message. What is your message at this moment? What is the message? Okay, we have surrender. You need to always be right. Okay, and surrender to the magic of who you are. And we're gonna keep keep those cards. I do feel like that those cards are very pivotal in this reading. Um, I already have a message for y'all, but we're gonna continue to get more oracle cards to see um, what is your message. And we have solar plexus. Oh yeah, I definitely have a clear message here. Yeah, we have giving and receiving. Okay, let's see one more card. And we have Take Your Show on the Road. This is the house of publicity. Public, speak out, spread the word, so promotion is favored right now. Let's use the, um, I'm gonna buy the, the mini ones because these are too huge and I didn't know they have the mini ones. So let's use the archetype and let's get a Message for calling the man advice. Advice. Again, this is an in depth reading. If you don't like those readings, this is not channel or pile for you. We have the star born. Okay. Okay, I wish you could see the cards, but it's fine. Let me start off with the surrender your your need to always be right and you sort of plexus and surrender to the magic of who you are okay so at this moment i am feeling that you may be clinging on to a relationship it could either be romantic romantic or a partnership and you're clinging on to this person or these people because you are having insecurities. Your shoulder plexus is not working. It's not on its highest range at this moment. And um, it's causing you to accept um, comes with giving and receiving and it's causing you to over give to a person you can see all these hands are giving to this light okay um, I feel like you're paying attention to this person because you are in lust you feel very lustful for this person but this person here does not value you okay this person does not value you and because you've been surrendering to lust and to someone who is um, not treating you 
like they're supposed to. Um, you have an opportunity here to show your talents, your creativity. You are a star born with the um, this card. You're a star born. You're ready to crack open, but due to your insecurities, due to your toxic trait or this what you're doing is causing you your path to slow down to stop and i'm getting um no bullies allowed Taurus in reverse it says you or someone close to you may try to control the situation i feel like it's mutual i do feel like you and this person um want to control the situation you want to hold on to this person because you feel lustful or clingy whatever the situation is and this person wants to hold on to you because they feel the same way and they want to control you and they feel controlled because you are clinging on to them due to the fact that is they're just giving you breadcrumbs okay so now let's go to the oracle to the tarot cards We have the Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles Reverse, Three of Pentacles Upright, the Hierophant, and the Three of Cups. If you are worried about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, they are in a third party. They have you in a third party for some of you. Look at this, Ten of Swords and the Knight. If you deal with this person, you're going to end up in a heartbreak. This person is greedy. They don't want to give their attention to you like they're supposed to. And they feel like the little bit that they gave you or the first time that they ever gave you anything is enough for the whole relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a narcissist. Okay. Um, but moving forward, if you move forward with this person, there is no future here with this person. I don't see no future here. Okay, I do feel like for some of you, this person is very strict. They're very religious or they have a very strict way of seeing life. Okay, and this person could be very creative. That's why you are very amused with this person. You're very amused or they are. Um, take it how it resonates, but this is, these are the messages for you. And... And I feel like maybe you've met them through mutual friends or whatnot, but honestly, I don't feel, I don't see a future here. And you're always going to keep wanting more or waiting for more from this person. I'm hearing empty promises, okay? Let's get you a intuitive advice for problem number one. Okay. We have cotton candy, make a wish, okay? I do feel like, again, you have an opportunity here. Your, the roads are open, but yeah, the, we have follow the leader reverse, but you cannot follow this person. You cannot deal with this person, okay? And um, again, use your intuition. I'm here just to for guidance. You have free will. And I thank you so much for being here. Ciao. Power number two, if you chose the um, Lioness Tarot Oracle, this is your pile. We're going to see how, uh, what is the messages from your guardian angels. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm going to start off with the Oracle cards. So for pile number two, Oh, we got a message. Surrender frustration. Okay, so yeah, I have a message already. I feel like you've been juggling things. I feel like things may not be, you know, coming through, working as fast as you want it. But your angels are advising you to surrender that frustration, frustration because sooner or later, roads will open. We have surrender resentments. Oh, some of you have a grudge against someone, or y'all feel um, jealousy. 
Yeah, so jealousy, um, some of you may be dealing with eating disorders, um, insecurities, um, feeling like you have to beat yourself up on what you eat, how much you exercise, because you want to look like someone and or someone has left you before because the other person looked better than you or something like that i'm getting that what else guardian angels file oh, number two what's the advice you have this no detached reverse yeah if you're detached from your body, your spirit is not connected to your body. Um, you're suffering, your body is suffering. And this message is not for everybody. But if this is you coming together, you have people that love you, you have people that wanna help you, um, that wanna support you, People that don't even know you, they want to be there for you, they want to help you. We have the base chakra. And success in So my, my, um, my phone got, um, stopped recording, I'm sorry. But we have base chakra, that is your root chakra, that's where you're under your, belly button is that okay and that also um is responsible for your sexuality okay for some of you yeah that's what i'm getting like yeah we have nurture you need to nurture yourself okay you need to um self-love i'm also getting that for some of you um yeah, you're refusing to, to see the truth here and refusing to trust. Um, I'm not sure if you're religious or not, but if you believe in God, you're refusing to put your faith in Him. Or if you don't, you're refusing to, you know, trust yourself that you could do better and that you don't have to push yourself much to be successful. You don't have to, you know, look 110 pounds or like a model to feel happy and successful. Okay, that's that's what I'm getting here. Let's use the um, archetype to get more messages for pile number two. Pile number two. We have the castle. Okay. Yeah, I feel like with this card, many of you feel empty. Y'all may have lots of money, the status, or even the look and y'all feel empty, or y'all feel like if y'all were to have all this money, all this status, y'all would feel much better, okay, much happier. But I'm, I'm getting that if that's not your situation, you need to trust, overall you need to trust and surrender any frustration, frustrations or, or grudges against anybody who has hurt you or yes or against your body against yourself so let's look for your message real quick because i really want to go in deep on what is this um message saying <clears throat> 149 so your message is visiting your throne of power so yeah it's it, again your guardian angels are asking you to call in your power you have you are powerful you have power i feel like once you tap into your root chakra you can search it up and, and look into ways of you know energizing your shoot your root chakra um you will be technically unstoppable okay like basically unstoppable let's get you another message advice to call number two okay 
Take your show on the road, the house of publicity, publish, speak out, and spread the word. I feel like you have some kind of wisdom. Yeah, look at this. Secret knowledge. And and you know how to how to maneuver to through some obstacles and or whatever you are experienced in and that will help others. Yeah, you've got a friend, look at that. You've got a friend, you got a community, you got people who love you, whether you know it or not. I feel like some of you could have a YouTube also. Um, it says you are a blessing in life. I feel like if you're someone who actually wants to commit um, self-harm, if you know what I mean, I'm getting that, you know, you have family, you have people that look up to you, you have people that love you, and you will leave a very black hole in those people's hearts, if that's something that resonates with you. Let's use the Lioness Oracle to get extra messages for pile number two, and I'm feeling um, pain in the back of my head. Um, I, I feel like intuitively, um, you've been you've been dealing with this for a long time okay yeah we have the three of swords and the nine of cups reverse and the five of wands i feel like you've given up into depression into hurt i feel like you don't feel happy anymore and you feel like the only way out is to stay in this in this um in this type of um, toxic cycle of maybe belittling, belittling yourself, hurting yourself, you know, mentally, physically. Um, but I'm hearing you're lying to yourself. That's not going to help. I'm getting the lust energy here again, a, vest, a very lustful And the, uh, the, a liar. Yeah, there's a liar here. If this man or woman has made you feel like you're not enough, that's why they haven't given you um, a long-term relationship, use your intuition. Because they, they know that you could find someone better. I mean, there is an inevitable ending with the death card here. Okay, don't believe this person. Because I see you very happy and maybe someone else who is nicer, who will treat you better. Okay. So, guys, um, I'm going to cut this reading short. Um, I really appreciate that you were here with me. And this is a safe space for me and you. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Ciao.